Hi guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kissa. I'm a first time mom, long time entrepreneur and food and product based business coach. I make productivity videos, entrepreneur life videos and mom life videos here on YouTube. So if that's something that might interest you, please do subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking about the app called Notion. I'm a big productivity nerd and if you guys haven't checked out my other videos, you guys, please do. I have been doing digital planner videos and some product reviews on different apps for productivity to keep your business and life organized and I did a Notion review quite a while ago. It was a new platform and so there was a lot of things that were still in development. They were still trying to get their stride and trying to figure out how their pricing structure was going to work and everything and I mentioned those in my previous video. Recently I had my first baby Micah. He is currently four months old and because of this I had a lot of life changes that happened and it forced me to kind of relook at my productivity workflow and figure out something that fits better with my current lifestyle. Style. So in the past, I used to use digital bullet journal spreads. And so those are the videos that you will see a lot of in my previous videos on this channel. But I felt like it was just taking too much time that I didn't have. It was a great creative outlet for me, but it just wasn't as automated as I needed it to be. And with the limited time that I had, I needed something that was more in all inclusive and something that I could just open and everything would be in there. So if you want to see previous videos of what my workflows and productivity setup used to look like, you can check those old videos. I used to use Evernote, Todoist, and Digital Bullet Journal, but now I'm trying to get everything into Notion so that it's all in one place. So today I thought I would walk you through what that looks like. I just started using Notion again, and one of the people that I found was Marie is if that's how you pronounce her name I will link her channel down below but she really inspired me because there were a lot of things about her setups that worked for me so I took inspiration from that and kind of created my own system based on what I knew of notion in the past I thought I would share my screen with you and kind of walk you through what I've learned so far and this can be kind of an ongoing learning experience that all of us can go through together and we can try and find the best ways to set up Notion so that it works for our individual lives. Okay guys, so welcome to my weekly agenda. I originally started using Notion again because I wanted to use it as a weekly agenda. So I figured the best place to start for me to show you, show you through my account is my weekly agenda, just because it was the first project or it was the first thing I wanted to use Notion for. And then as you can see on the left-hand side, you I started using it for a bunch of other different things, but the weekly agenda was the main thing that I started using Notion for. So I thought the best thing to do was to create a template one time and then be able to duplicate that week by week. So that's what I did in Notion. I love that feature about it. And if you ever want to create your own template, I'll show you how to do that. Stay tuned um, in later in this video. I just wanna show you the evolution of my weekly agenda because I started off with one layout and then as I got to know myself and how I personally use Notion, I adapted the weekly agenda so that it fits more with my life and the ease of use. So let's start off with a little tour. This is my original spread and this spread was inspired by Marie Poulin. She has a great YouTube channel about Notion. I will link her channel down below. There is an icon to visually create a marker so that I know that this, these are all for the month of July. And then in August, I will change that icon for a different visual marker. And then I put in the main headline, the date. I created a property so that I know that this is for the period of June 29th to July 5th and every week this changes and then I created a Monday through Sunday 
kind of spreadsheet area where I originally put my tasks and things that I wanted to keep track of. I also have my tasks here that are just listed down. And then I also have weekly reflections with my wins, losses, lessons learned this week, and gratitude for a little journal section. This was what I originally started with. And as time went on, I said, oh, you know, there are things that I personally keep track of on a daily basis that I want to include in my weekly agenda. Things like daily habits. As I observed what I needed in my weekly agenda, I was able to update it as the weeks went on. So this is my July, the last week of July, I have a daily habit section now that has water, daily vitamin. Um, I put the the book Essentialism there because that is my current book that I'm reading. Um, a daily gratitude that I like to journal as well as something that I accomplished and then tending to my garden daily. So these are the daily habits that I have and if I ever wanted to add to it, I can easily just tap new and then it'll create a new space for me. So maybe another new task that I want to do on a daily basis is have breakfast. And if I hit enter... There it is. So it auto populates the same properties, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of that. It populates that for you. So all you need to put is your new task that you want at the bottom. Another thing that I did was I created a recurring to do list and I wanted to show you how I set this up visually so that it makes sense for me personally. I created a different view as you can see there's a table view here and I created a recurring view so the recurring view is a Kanban board similar to Trello if you've ever used Trello before and I like to set it up this way because I can see it on a daily basis how you do that is you can cr change the view if you tap on the click on those three buttons there and you can group by so I group by day and then I set it as you can see it's set up Monday through Sunday and then I created a filter so that I know which tasks are due on what date. So those filters are here and there are two rules. I filtered it where the due date is on or before an exact date. And then the other filter that I use is the project contains recurring tasks. So the way that I was able to set those recurring tasks up, that filter, is if I click on a task, there are different properties here that you can play with and customize. And the referring t the referring property that filters here is this one right here, which is recurring tasks. These are projects that I've created, and this kind of gets complex. So if you're a beginner, my suggestion would just be to get this started. But if you guys are interested, I can make another video on how to work with the properties and how to make these work. These recurring tasks in this project is basically what's filtering out my recurring tasks in my weekly agenda. So anything that's marked with that recurring task, this one is cash sales is also tagged with a recurring task. Um, payroll and schedule is also marked with a recurring task. So anything that's marked with this, is going to be filtered and put into this spreadsheet. If it doesn't have that filter, I created another task list for things that aren't recurring. And those tasks are down here. I'm not going to be doing these tasks on a regular basis. So they go into this list of tasks versus the recurring list of tasks, if that makes sense. So I have two to-do lists. And then when something is done, um, for example, this one, that's finished. If I click on done, it disappeared. Put rug in bedroom, if I click on that, it'll disappear. So this is also filtered the same way my recurring tasks are. And as you can see, it'll be projects that do not have recurring tasks tagged and the due date is on or before August 2nd as well, and the checkbox is open. It's now only showing the to-do items that are not marked off. 
And then finally, the weekly reflection, I have actually expanded this to my gratitude and accomplishments. It's just a section for me to journal on a daily basis of the things that I'm thankful for, wins, losses, and lessons learned. It's just a great opportunity for me to sit in gratitude, especially in a time where it's hard to kind of find things to be happy about because there's so much going on in the world. Now, I do want to show you how I created this so that it's easy for me to set up. I don't have to create it manually every single time. I've basically created a template and then whenever there is a new week, I'll go ahead and just duplicate that template and then use it for the following week. If I'm going into my new week, I just tap on this drop down here next to new and then click on weekly template and it has created a blank version for me. So I'll go in here and fill it out. I will pick a emoji for August 100 because it's going to be a good month, I hope. And then I'm going to select the date. It's going to be August 3rd with an end date of August 9th. Now that I know that, I'm going to type here August 3rd to 9th. Perfect. And then I'm going to pick the projects that I'm going to focus on this week. Um, I will say that I'm going to focus on my debt snowball because one of my goals is to pay down debt. And then I have my daily habits set up. And as you can see, I just want to make a note here. When I added have breakfast at the bottom, remember that I added that to last week's weekly agenda. If I want the task have breakfast in every single new weekly agenda from here on out, I actually have to edit the template, not the weekly agenda. So I will show you that in a second. Then I have my recurring to do, which I'm going to make sure I see in the correct format. Make sure the due date is changed to August 6th. That one's good. And then I will filter this as well for my due date to be due August 6th. Why am I keep saying August 6th? I mean August 9th, sorry. All right, that's good. And then I'm done. That is an easy, what, maybe three minutes, if that, to create a weekly agenda versus what I was doing with my digital bullet journal. Granted, I loved the creativity of my digital bullet journal, but I just don't have the time for it. I just wanted a template that I can duplicate and it would take me a minute or two to create. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, now if I wanna update this template because I want to change some things, for example, I wanna add the have breakfast at the very bottom of my daily habits. The way to do that is to go into your drop down menu again, click on this three, these three dots and you can see it says edit this template. Click on that click edit and then you can do that here so you can see right here it says you're editing a template in weekly agenda so if I wanted to add some more tasks like have breakfast I can do that and then when you duplicate this the next time your have breakfast will show up so I hope that helps let me know if it was confusing at all let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to help you in any way I can. Um, the whole goal of this is to be more efficient. And I feel like right now Notion is working really, really well for me. I'm still learning. I've only been using it for a month now. So in a month, I've learned a lot. As you can see now, I'm not only using it for my weekly agenda, but I have projects, content calendar, I even have my bullet journal. I have other things in Notion now because I feel like it has improved so much since the last time I've used it. So if you are interested in other ways that I use Notion, please let me know specifically what you want to see and I can film that for you as well. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to set up my Notion setup for productivity, please do share it in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback or what you're doing to make it work. If you like videos like this, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.